Hello, you guys. Hello to my blessed and beautiful people. How are you doing this evening? I just got off work. And I'm so greedy. I made me a T-bone steak with some onions and garlic and mashed potatoes. And I'm using my sauce, my butter sauce from my crab boil. Lobster boil, whatever. I don't even know what to call it. But I just got off work, you guys. And today was a good day. I am truly blessed and fortunate to have a job that allows me to take care of my my responsibilities. Yes. <laughs> One thing you'll learn about me, I am extremely goofy when I'm sleepy. <laughs> you guys look, half of my eyebrows is gone. <laughs> you know you want to say something. You know you want to say something. Say it. It's okay. I'm still cute. Mmm. Mmm. Um, I have one rib. We cook two different things. I don't like this. It tastes funny. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm getting to the dog. It tastes better today. Hi, fatness. Hey, yeah. It's baby Frankie. What are you talking about? My son. Mm. It's in the back. <laughs> what? Who did it, Chubby? Bring him here. He will be seven months in a couple of days. Get him here. Well, you you don't have to have none. Say button me. Say button me. What? We get baby Frankie, you guys. That's the daddy. Chunka, 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 chunka. Guess how much he weighs. He's not even seven months yet, you guys. He's not even seven months. And he, I didn't even give him none. He's licking his mouth. He's not even seven months yet, and he's 22 pounds, you guys. This is his first time having mashed potatoes. They nummy. And I just started giving him baby food because he was so big. Mm. You guys, I had this knife. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. Mm. I'm not gonna use it. Mm. Mm. Hello. Yeah, I'm tell. You can't have no more. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Let's give you a little more. I don't know. Oh, Carlia, did you just text me? You get on my nerves. Go to your room. Please. Go to your room. That's my 16 year old in my. I just got a stain on my shirt. Okay. I'm going to try to cut it. Mm, let's swing it around. I'd rather somebody else cook my steak. Because I don't want it fully cooked. But... I always, um, hold on, yeah, yes, okay, I need this right here, I need all of it, I know I got this, but, okay, let's see if I, I got a little pink, you guys. I did good. That is so tender. Yes. So today at work, I work at Walmart. And... I just got a promotion, but unfortunately, I'm still doing the old stuff. Um, so I get to work today, and they asked me, did I want to help somebody shop? I'm not sure. I always... You know, look at the things that people buy when I go grocery shopping. And I'm like, ooh. And I'll, I'll ask them, hey, what do you use that for? And, you know, different cultures, they love to share. Love to share. But anyways, this guy, he was so sweet. He was in a wheelchair. And then, you know, as we start talking and shopping, I found out that he was making groceries for himself in addition to three other people. But, um, it, when I tell you it was so exhausting, it was so exhausting. Not, when I shop, it takes a long time, but I, I can just imagine how hard it is to be in a wheelchair and have the need of somebody else. I just, I, I felt like I was sitting in that wheelchair and I, I felt really bad for him. I mean, with my left hand. Didn't think it was possible. He shook my hand and just like, I look forward to seeing him again. I really do. You just have to always be mindful of others and their needs and and their wants. You know, I couldn't imagine myself being in a wheelchair and not being able to use my legs to do things or better yet, go to the grocery store and not be able to push a grocery cart to put my groceries, my toiletries or whatever I'm purchasing. But... You know, it it's a lesson learned for some. You know, I for Christmas, I think I want to do little sacks with toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, socks. You know, maybe a turkey sandwich, something to drink, and you know, have my kids hand it out, and hopefully, it's a learning experience for them. You know, it'd be nice to give back. Mm. 
<laughs> what? Give me a minute. Go to your room. It's um. What time is it? Is that a bone? It's so tender, but that bone. Mm, I broke my nail. This is making me mad, you guys. I don't know where that bone was coming from. Mm. Okay, this is kind of rough. But I did a good job cooking it. Mm. My dominant hand is my right one. You know, my mom always taught me, <clears throat> excuse me, it's so good, I can't stop it. My mom always taught me, treat people how you want to be treated. I've been at work all day since 10. I don't know what this, this is like this bone in here. I just want to pick it up and bite it. Is this lady like? Mm. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Mm. It's not bloody, but it's not bloody, but. How I like it. It has to be really tender. I need to wash my shirt. You guys ever go out to eat and you um you get something on your shirt and which is telling on yourself when you come back home, Mom, where'd you go to eat? <laughs> Mm. That's funny. I tell myself all the time. I feel spill stuff. On my shirt. What is that? I spill stuff on my shirt, and my kids be like, Mom, where'd you go and eat? <laughs> I put lots of dry rub on my food. But some of it's less sodium. It has a lot of herbs and garlic and stuff in it. Mm. Yes. 
my blood pressure. Is out of whack sometimes. So I have to watch my sodium intake. After I had my six month old, I accumulated high blood pressure for the first time ever. Mmm. A food. I think it's parsley. My teeth. I came out at high blood pressure for the first time and boy has it been a good journey. Mmm, right here is so tender. I don't want to waste it, but mm. I'm like a bone right here. I don't know where the hell this came from. Never had a bone right there. This stuff is tender. Yeah. Look how it just you rip it apart. Mm. I did it again. Mm. I did it again. I need all that. <laughs> We don't waste food. Mm. I don't believe how tender that side is. Yum. Yeah. Mm. What is that? Some kind of herb. I think it's thyme. Like some of these, some of these seasonings have every herb in it, and the sodium intake is really low. Mm. Why am I so full? No, I have no vegetables. I know that's what some of you guys are thinking. I normally eat vegetables, but not today. Mm. I didn't want them. Let's keep on moving. I'm so full, you guys. Mm. That's a gristle. Oh. I told you I wasn't going to use a knife. Clearly can't eat the rest of my steak, but <laughs> the reason why it looks so creamy is because I kept on picking it up, putting it down on the mashed potatoes, and then you got your A1 sauce. So yeah, it looks kind of nasty. Get over it. But the reason why I'm irritated is because. It irks my soul when I buy the simplest thing for myself. And when I go back to get it, it's not there. Like, it's not there. What did I do to deserve it? I wanted my late night snack. My ice cream. Guess how long my ice cream been in there? Over a week. I buy stuff. And it sits kind of my fault but it was mine so when I go back to get it it should be there I bought it for me 
uh, just like I buy everybody else their personal needs. Like, goddamn, I am irritated. I mean, eyelashes, eyelash glue. I gotta share. So I buy you your own. So you use up my shit, and then you work on your own. I wanted my damn ice cream and my eyelash glue. The moral of my story is, if it don't belong to you, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Who ate my ice cream? Jeez. I'm just playing. <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. I got this was really good, but that's some that is so cold. What happened to my ice cream, y'all? What? Nicholas will not stop laying in front of my door. I, I... Wait a minute. Time out. I'm recording, and you need to go to bed. Are we gonna have a problem? Okay. And okay. another question. Where's my ice cream? Somebody ate this shit. Where's my ice cream? I'm so sad. That shit big, I <laughs> I was excited about it. Oh. I got up to change my shirt. Can you look at my vanity and bring me one of those um, toothpicks with the floss? Bring me a couple of them. My 16 year old complains about everything. Well, I guess she got it honestly because I'm complaining. I'm complaining, honey. Yes. I'm complaining. Well, at least I'm blessed to go buy me some ice cream. But this time I ain't going to bring it home. I asked you for my toothpick on my vanity. When you walked away from here, I said, and I have it on recording if you are going to challenge me, I asked you for my toothpick with a floss on it on my vanity. I did. Mm-hmm. I guess I ain't gonna be able to pick my teeth. Y'all can't see me pick my teeth. Carlia! Did you forget about me? It's cold in here. I'm not about to eat this, I swear. Well, I'm about to clean up my mess. I'm about to go get in the tub. Well, I don't feel like taking a bath. So, I'm going to take a shower. The next time she asks me for something, I'm going to take my time. You know, you suck. You don't need something and you're going to ask me for something and I'm going to take my time. Yeah. Or better yet, I just am not going to do it at all. Ooh, cold, <laughs> I was waiting on. I don't want to go upstairs. Yeah. 
I took over trying to do. It's hard to live. I feel like I'm doing it for I'm gonna Where do you go? Where do you go? Put it in the fridge. You know how I'm just making sweater, butter. I'm trying to get all kind of heat rashes. And it's not that bad today, but I, I don't know how to take out all my blocks. <laughs> if anybody knows me, use um, dragons. Well, anyways, let me get off to here. You guys have a wonderful and blessed night. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Wait a minute.